Kobe from Frenchies of Bad G and today, oh, matter of fact, this is going to be a two series video. At this moment, I'm going to talk to y'all about kind of trying to how to figure out if your female is possibly pregnant. And then I'm going to go into the second step of the video where I'm going to show y'all the weapon box for my female that is actually pregnant. specific things about French Bulldogs that they can be two separate videos in itself so I think the first video might be between 10 and 12 minutes and the second video will be between 10 and 12 minutes as well because I'm actually gonna be setting up a welcome box showing y'all a system that I got from a guy called love my pups on it on uh, YouTube and uh, the system is not that hard it just take a little bit of measurement and it's super cheap and super affordable definitely for first-time breeders one of the first indicators which may or not work all the time, but it will work if it's a first time mama. Just like Cookie, she is a first time mama. So I'm gonna show y'all how to tell if she is, uh, this isn't Cookie, this is Muffin, but she just our big baby. She always wanna get up in our laps and then she get jealous. So let me get Cookie. Okay, come here mama. Good girl. This is Cookie y'all, how you can tell if she is a first time uh, I mean, how you can tell if she is pregnant is these some of the signs to tell. One of the most clearest indicators is she'll get wide between like um, 30 to 35 days into her pregnancy. She'll get real wide. And if my numbers is off a little bit, then somebody in the comments, please correct me and let me know at what days do you get to see your mama start getting a little bit of wide that, you know, that sad bulge that they get from when they being pregnant. It hasn't been confirmed with her, but she got all the clearest indications that she might be pregnant. So the second uh, thing that you definitely will see after about three weeks after uh, the AI, which is, you know, the artificial insemination or surgical insemination uh, is this right here. Surgical insemination, you might be able to see this result sooner because they actually get pregnant sooner, but it's this right here. Longer nipples. For first time mamas, they got longer nipples, guys, as you can see. Her nipples is enlarged right here. She giving me kisses. As you can see, they a little larger than they usually are. And the way that you know they larger, because if you got any other French Bulldogs that haven't given birth yet, that haven't been pregnant yet, then you can compare their the pregnant, possible pregnant mama nipples to the to the dog that doesn't, that hasn't had an AI and hasn't had puppies before. They'll never get smaller once they have puppies before. Come here, girl. Feel safe, you safe, baby. You okay? They will never uh, get smaller. Once, you know, if they have puppies before, this isn't a good indication on whether they are pregnant or not. So let me show you hers compared to Muffin's. Come here, Muffin. Come here. She's a big baby. She wouldn't be up here all anyways. So if you compare hers to Muffin, okay, give me kisses and then calm down. Okay, you compare hers to Muffin. This is how our dogs act because they, they just super lovable dogs. Muffin, calm it. See how Muffin nipples isn't that large? It's because Muffin hasn't had an AI. Muffin hasn't went in the heat uh, recently, and she isn't uh, pregnant. Muffin isn't pregnant, but she just want all the attention and love, and she just want to bite on my ears. She don't even seem like she's ready to be a mama yet anyway, so Muffin, you never had puppies before yet, but you will one day. So um, put Muffin down because you can see the difference between the two nipples. Let me try to hold them side by side so y'all can get a better representation. I'm going to get down. I'm going to get both dogs to come near me. <clears throat> so come here, puppies. Well, babies, come here, my babies. And then I'm going to get Cookie. Come here, Muffin. Okay, let me get them both up. If you look close up on both of them, you can see Cookie uh, nipples is a lot larger than Muffin nipples. If Muffin will act right and come here for me, there you go. You see, Cookie Nipples a lot larger than Muffin Nipples. You can see that, guys? Okay. 
Another indication on that she might possibly be pregnant is swollen. It's being swollen around this area here. If she swell up around the, around the, uh, around her vulva area, you can see her swelling. That's a clear indication that she might be pregnant as well. So uh, all the indications show that she is possibly pregnant. And it's another step that I'm gonna show y'all in just a second that you can also test. Now this step take uh, a lot more experience with trying to, you know, figure out the indicators on whether your female French Bulldog might be pregnant or not. But it is a step that you can actually be able to try to figure out as well, but it'll take more experience. This is for more seasoned breeders, but I'm gonna tell you the step in just a second. For the scientific term of it, but instead of me being all scientific with you guys, I'm gonna just be straight up down to earth with you. It's basically just filling around their tummy. If you get the possible pregnant dog like this, and you grab her, come here girl. Okay, I turn around and you grab her right here, not too tight, right? And you squeeze a little bit, you are looking for something the size of maybe half of an avocado. Something about the size of the avocado. But this would only work after about three months, three weeks into the possible pregnancy. You grab right here, you look for a little bitty something about the size of an avocado. So you get there, you squeeze it, and then you feel it. And that's how you know if she's pregnant, if you can feel it in there. I feel a little knot right there. That's her. That's her puppies, I guess. The clearest way to find out, guys, is an ultrasound. That's the best way to know is an ultrasound. That'll be the best way to be able to tell. You can get one of those at the veterinarian unless you got a home ultrasound system where you can do ultrasounds at home because that is absolutely possible and people do do it. And also, you will save some money in the long term depending on how much you pay for ultrasounds. And uh, it's a few things I'm going to mention as far as behavior before I get off this topic of how to tell if your French Bulldog is pregnant. And that is, you got to think about cookie. I mean, Muffin, stop licking the bottom of her shoe. Stop it, girl. What's on the bottom of your shoe that she looking? Licking. Uh, nesting behaviors. Nesting behaviors is something that dogs do when they are pregnant. And uh, it'll just apply the same thing as like a... A woman, you know, when you think of nesting behaviors with a woman, what do you think about? You think about her like kind of cleaning up all the time, you know, in areas that she resides in. So just apply that same, those same type of behaviors to your dog. If she got a thing for like licking other dogs, licking other dogs ear, as soon as I said that, she started licking her sister ear. If she is like trying to tidy up the area or where she is uh, usually sleeping at or resting at, then you know that that's part of, then you know that that is nesting behavior. If, you know, she is just tidying up the area where she usually resides at quite often, then you know that those are signs of like her possibly being pregnant as well. I mean, a change in appetite is definitely a possible sign of being pregnant. You know, maybe she might want to eat less. Maybe she might want to eat more. Or maybe she might just want to eat different food. And all of those boil you down to a change in appetite on your girl being possibly pregnant. But the clearest indication is, I must tell you again, is an x-ray. Go to a veterinarian and get an x-ray or a welcome friend who got an x-ray machine and use an x-ray machine to see the puppies. Or just get an x-ray machine yourself and do it at home, which is really expensive. But if you got a lot of dogs, then you will come out paying you know, less money for the x-ray machine than it would to cost you to take 20 dogs to a veterinarian and get an x get x-rays for girls that might be pregnant two times a year at the four times maximum times and two to three times minimum time. You know, it'll take, it'll cost a lot of money, you know, it'll start to add up. I don't know how much x-rays cost uh, at everybody else's, you know, veterinarian. I just know that x-rays can cost. Everything can add up when it's multiples. So uh, this is uh, Cody from Frenchies and IG. And uh, you know, this is me making a video that's basically telling you about how to tell if your female Frenchie possibly might be pregnant on her first litter. Now, maybe I'll make another video in the future about talking about if she might be pregnant 
uh, without it being her first litter because you got some a few indicators that will show you that she might be pregnant. It will be everything I just mentioned minus the nipples being bigger because if she have had a litter before, the nipples will not get larger in the first three weeks of her possibly being pregnant. But you can feel for an apricot, apricot size, you know, um, avocado size. Uh, the smaller avocados, not the big ones. Avocado size, you know, bulge and right under her stomach. And it isn't directly under the belly, it's a little bit back, a little farther. When you feel, it's, don't squeeze too hard because she might be, you know, you, it might be uncomfortable for her if she isn't really comfortable with you. So just give it just like a little squeeze enough in order to know whether it's a bulge back there or not. And this is Cody from Frenchies at IG. If you got any questions about the information that I'm putting out or anything that you want to dictate, put it in the comments below. Uh, follow me on Instagram or send me a DM on Instagram at frenchiesof.ig, which is F-R-E-N-C-H-I-E-S-O-F dot IG. And let's do healthy breeding. Let's do informative breeding. And let's put the health, the structure, and the DNA of the dogs first. And I'm out.